what is up royals welcome back to tonitra's garden i'm tonitra and we are not in my garden this morning we are actually at the garden center here in san antonio we have a garden center called rainbow gardens and it's one of the best garden centers in san antonio they have two locations so today i'm at the location on thousand oaks i came here because i need to get some compost and probably a few herb plants for my herb garden so yeah i just need to grab a few things from here and i'll show you what i get about a week later from when I went to Rainbow Gardens to get these herbs. <laughs> I've been doing so many other videos in between there that I just didn't have time to get to it, but we're here. We've got the herbs, we've got the container, we've got the soil. I have this like a wash tub on legs that I got for my grandma. I have two of her growing containers, her gardening containers now. So I'm so happy about that. And I'm planting up the second one today. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that super cute? It's metal and it has like these little handles on the sides. It just reminds me of like when you're washing your clothes or something, just like that type of container. But I thought this would be perfect for an herb garden because it has the handles on it. So if I need to move the herbs out of the sun because y'all know it gets scorching hot in San Antonio, I can go ahead and move it where it needs to go. I can put it on top of a table or whatever I need to do. Um, I did put leaves in this to fill her up so that I don't have to use all my gardening soil. If you're trying to save on cost um, on soil and stuff, just fill up your container about halfway with leaves or some type of grass, sticks, whatever you can find. You can even do like bottles or something like that and fill the rest up with soil. First thing we're gonna do is put on our hat because it's already getting hot. It's not even April yet. This is my favorite gardening hat from Amazon. It's just like a little visor and it kind of wraps around your head. It's adjustable. And I like it because you can wear your hair in a ponytail and just wrap it around. I need to get a new one. I think that works. We got our leaves in here. It's about a little more than halfway. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put some potting mix in here. This is Kellogg's potting mix. I'm going to dump this in here. This is just from my local nursery. Some parsley. 
we've got sage, we have some peppermint, thyme, pretty, spearmint, thymes of basil that I started from seed. We have some dill that I really want to get potted up. It looks like it's trying to get yellow. So we'll pop that up, I mean plant. Some purple basil. Ooh, this thing is gonna be packed. So let's organize these and see what we like. So I think I want the time to kind of cascade over the side. I think that would be cute. Parsley gets pretty big and fluffy, so I think I want that on the edge too. Um, sage, not so much. Mint, and basil. I think basil can go in the middle. Mint can go on the sides. Sage can go in the center. Okay, I think we have it set up the way we like it. Oh, I forgot about dill. And I'll pop dill back here in the back because dill gets tall as well. And start planting. <laughs> This is a closer look of what we have going here. I put some parsley in the front so that it could spill over. We have some purple sage. We have some thyme. Hopefully that'll spill over as well. Uh, we have some mint back here. This is spearmint and this is just peppermint. We put basil in the middle, uh, purple basil on the outsides, and then we put some little dill back here that I started from seed, so hopefully that works out. But yeah, look how cute! I am so excited for this, and I'm so happy that it is easy to move. So it's not too big, not too small. I think it's just perfect. So our herbs are nicely packed into the soil, they were super dry in these containers. They're going to be so happy with this new soil and compost. Um, I can't wait to see how big this thing gets and how pretty it gets. So this is going to go in a sunny place, but I'm just going to keep this right here in the shade for a couple hours so that they can adjust to their home and then I'll set them into the sun probably tomorrow. So. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below what kind of herb garden you're growing and I will see you in my next video. Bye Royals!